Facebook group versus YouTube community tab. Why do I sway strongly toward one over the other and what do you need to know to choose for your business? So here's the thing. I have built my platform on YouTube and over the years I have spent a lot of time and effort building up Facebook and putting out content on Facebook and it's never gotten the traction that I've had over on YouTube. So for me, I have run those Facebook groups and if you've built your platform on Facebook, by all means, do a Facebook group, really build up what you're doing because you'll get more engagement there and conversations there and it's more searchable there. But if you built your platform on YouTube like I have, I found that the community over there is much stronger for me. I do post inside of my community tab several times a day. I found that polls work really well for getting engagement. People love just to be able to click a button and move on. People also really like photos and gifts and blog style content. So I will put an article or a quick win or a case study or something to motivate them to take action and they'll read through it and sometimes they'll comment and engage with that as well. Now I also have the ability to send out my videos via the community tab, but you don't get engagement on those. You'll get the click through over to the video so people can watch it, but then they'll watch the video and comment over there. So those don't appear to have as much engagement as some of the other types of content, but are highly effective as well. Now my Facebook groups have been hindered by the algorithm. The algorithm doesn't show groups as much as they used to, even though they're heavily leaning into groups now as opposed to pages and other types of posts. So group content is gonna be really helpful if you have an established Facebook group. So then let's back this up. As you are trying to figure out what to do for your business, I recommend you try both things. You absolutely should be seeing if you can get traction with both of these. And with YouTube's community tab, not everybody has access to it. You do have to have a certain number of followers and sometimes that changes. So you do not have to be monetized as of right now to get it. Right now it's 500 followers. And then you have the ability to be posting as you want. You're gonna wanna keep that differentiated from your videos. So not at the same time as your videos. You wanna do things that are going to draw them in and really add benefit to it. Now the nice thing about these community tab posts is that it shows up in your feed. So as people are inside of their app and they're scrolling through, these things just happen to be there as they're scrolling through. So as they're seeing those videos, they're also seeing your posts. So if you have a GIF that moves around, that's gonna get their attention. If you got a stunning photo and all of a sudden they've gone through video, 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 and they're just looking at these thumbnails and going through, and all of a sudden they see a show-stopping photo, that is a pattern disrupt. It stops the scroll because it's different than everything else that they're seeing. Polls are similar in that they look very different and all you have to do is click a button and move on. So these are gonna be really, really good for stopping that scroll and getting them to engage in some way. And if you can do it in a way that's conversational that gets their attention, it's gonna be incredibly helpful. Facebook groups are definitely gonna be a little bit different because you can post different styles of content. You can post a video, you can post a GIF, you can post a meme, you can post something that you've created as a GIF or something from inside of their files. You can do just a normal post, it's up to you, but you're also going to have to compete with that algorithm, which is gonna be a little bit different than the YouTube algorithm and get seen less unless you have a highly, highly engaged audience already engaging with it. Because remember, Facebook is looking at content and saying, all right, what's the most important content? What are the most people going to interact with? Because 20 people, 30 people, 100 people have already engaged with this post inside of a group, now we'll show it to more people. YouTube is gonna be a little bit different because YouTube is looking to show this content to your followers. So anybody that's already following you is gonna see this inside of their feed. So if you have 100 followers, if you've got, well, I mean 500 followers because you have that minimum for community tab as of right now, but if you've got 1,000 or 10,000 followers, those people are going to have access to this and they're gonna show it inside of that feed. So the more people are scrolling through their app, the more likely they're going to be to see it. And I have found that I can put out a bunch of content inside of my community tab and still get good engagement. So it's not gonna burn out my audience and it probably won't burn out yours either. So for you, as you are making these decisions, I highly recommend you figure out where your audience is. If you've already built your platform on YouTube, you absolutely should be leveraging the power of the community tab. And I've got videos on how to do that and really how to use it in the types of content you can be putting out that are on the channel already. And you wanna make sure that if your audience is there, you're nurturing them in every way possible. If your audience is also on Facebook with you, 
not just that they're on Facebook, but on Facebook with you, then you're going to do really well inside of a Facebook group. Now, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do both or you can't lean heavily into both or you can't do cross content on these things. Just post it on different days and really build up that community and conversation from there. But I would definitely look if you're only going through one, if you're only picking one or if you want to prioritize one, look where you have a bigger engaged audience and leverage that. For me, it was without a shadow of a doubt, my YouTube channel. In fact, I use my YouTube community tab so much that I'm building up that audience there. I don't even bother over on Facebook anymore because people were not engaging. If they don't care about it, if they're not talking about it, if it's not something that's being shared around a lot, why? So now I have taken my audience from my YouTube, which I used to try to get into a Facebook group. I had to do that entire leap from one app to the next. And I am just keeping it on the platform where they're already following me, already engaged, already part of my content over there. And it has definitely changed how I am interacting with my audience. Now I can take them from my YouTube videos to my YouTube community tab where they're learning more and having more of these conversations. And now instead of trying to get them to the other social platforms or trying to get them to do other things, I can just drive them straight to my website or my newsletter or my courses and it saves a lot of time and effort. And because I built up that community on my community tab, I have the ability to have deeper, more impactful and meaningful conversations with my audience already there. And they can see that I'm actively taking care of my audience and responding to people in the comments and doing all these things. So for me, it was a no brainer to pick YouTube community tab over a Facebook group because it had much more potential for me. The engagement was so much better and it's all right there. It's social proof all within one setting that people can see I am highly active and supportive of them inside of this platform. So of course, they're going to want to follow me and subscribe from that point on. If you've got questions on what's going to be best for you, go ahead and drop those down below and hit the subscribe and notification bell because every single day I am breaking down brand new tips and tricks on how to level up on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, live streaming, and all the tools and resources you need to take the time commitment out of your social media presence so you can get back to running your business and living your best life and making sure we're running your business to be as profitable as possible. I will see you in our next episode.